And that's when I said, I don't even know your roommate. <laughs> yeah, he wound up giving me a bunch of cookies for all the trouble. I know you love ginger snaps, so I figured I'd bring them by. I'll probably leave the leftovers here if that's okay. I don't really want to have to carry them back to my place. I'm a terrible friend, I know, forcing these cookies on you. What a monster. Oh no, I don't mind at all. Go ahead and take it. Yes, I'm sure we'll be fine without you for a few minutes. It's not like it's our first time meeting or anything. Alright, what the fuck? Don't what me? How are you here? Are you adopted? Do you have some fucking twin I don't know about? Well, tough shit. I want to talk about it. I'd like to know how you're sitting here like nothing fucking happened. When I know for a goddamn fact that I killed you three days ago. I drained you dry. There wasn't a drop of blood left in you. The fuck does it matter if you said want to or can't? It's the same difference in the... Wait. Wait. You can't talk about it. Can't talk about it? Physically? You can't even form the words? Holy shit. Holy shit. You're cursed, aren't you? <laughs> oh, man. Who'd you piss off to get something this nasty? Can I assume from the glare you can't talk about that either? Damn. Spellcasters can be real dicks. Let me guess. You can die, but you can't stay dead. Curse of a Thousand Ends, I think that one's called. Real dark stuff. Someone must really hate you, babe. That's not all, though, is it? They went the extra mile on you. No wonder you always smelled so damn good. They turn you into man-eater catnip. I'll bet you attract all sorts of hungry monsters. Well, this explains why you didn't warn your brother about me. You can't tell anyone about your deaths. Which means you can't get that curse lifted. It also means I can do anything I want to you. And you won't be able to say a word. Shit. What was that? Was that a fucking book? Who throws books at people? I'm not handing it back. You threw it. You can come pick it up yourself. Anyway, what exactly are the limitations on the tied tongue? Have you tested them? Okay, no writing, sure. That's pretty standard these days. You nodded when I made guesses, so... What about movement? Could you use ASL? Can't do anything other than confirm what someone already knows. Got it. So, I guess asking how long you've had this thing is pointless. A year. Two years? Five years? Wait. Have you had this your whole life? Damn. Not you who pissed someone off, then. Your parents, maybe. You were probably cursed before you were even born. Rough luck. Well, rough luck for you. Speaking for myself, I don't see how this could have worked out any better. I know where you live, babe. I've been invited in. I can kill you 
whenever I want, and there are absolutely no consequences for me. This is the goddamn dream. Ah, ah, ah. Shh. Sounds like your brother just finished his phone call. And if I'm understanding the rules of your little situation correctly, that means you have to shut up now. Thought so. That really is handy. Hey, how'd it go? Everything okay on your end? Oh yeah. We got along just fine without you. Got to know each other a little better, actually. Well, yes. I was planning on heading out in half an hour or so. Why? <laughs> My, you're such a worrywart. I'd be fine walking home in the dark. But if it'll make you feel better, sure. I'll sleep over. Should be a fun night. <laughs>